Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, uh, back with another CD review. This time it's for a uh, fairly obscure, as far as I know, band. Um, I actually didn't know about this band until my friend started selling off stuff uh, from his collection, other stuff that he had acquired. You know, just look at my hauls recently, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, this is a band called Nailed, and this is their debut album, A Pure World is a Dead World. This is the back. And this is basically a copy of the front cover. And as I said, I had no idea who this band really was. I kind of took a chance on them. Just the name and the album title really screamed death metal to me. And I was correct. This is actually a British, uh, brutal death metal band that formed back in 2000. And this particular album was released in 2007 through Crash Music, who, uh, from what I was reading, uh, pretty much really screwed this band a lot. They didn't really give them all this uh, good promotion, and then, you know, you look at the cover on Metal Archives compared to what you actually get, you can't really tell through this, but it's a lot, the picture on here is a lot darker, and it's really pixelated, you know, it looks real cheaply done, and you look at the picture on the archives, and it's a lot brighter, and it looks really cool, and it would have made a really great album cover if they hadn't screwed them on this. But, uh, yeah, music-wise, you get ten, tr or, excuse me, nine tracks of uh, brutal yet slightly technical. There's some technical aspects to it. Uh, death metal, <coughs> excuse me, running time around a little over 32 and a half minutes. So, you know, it's nothing overly drawn out, which is good. Um, some of the riffs, you get a nice, you know, morbid angel feel to them. And uh, the only thing I find is that the bass seems to be buried in the mix a little bit at times, and it's very and the music can be very chaotic sounding. Um, you know, I think listening to bands like you know Cannibal Course, where no matter what you can always hear Alex Webster's bass playing. I'm just a sucker for you know the bass. I love hearing the bass in the mix and hear what the bass player is doing. So I'm kind of spoiled, I guess, on that. But um, yeah, but then again, I also don't like it to be too overly, you know, high in the mix. But still, they could have mixed it a little bit better, I think. And uh, as far as the drums go, yes, there is a lot of blasting in this, though not overly done. It's not one of those things they had to rely on because the drummer's not talented or anything. And there's, you know, lots of double bass. He mixes it up quite a bit, which is nice. Like I said, it's not just one huge blast fest, so that's always good. Um, Vocal-wise, you know, nice deep, kind of guttural growls with some screams thrown in. I'm assuming from the guitarist, um, because I mentioned he does vocals, but there's times I'm not sure if it's just the, you know, the same guy doing the growls and the screams, but, you know. Um, overall, I give this a, you know, three and a half out of five. It's a good death metal CD. Um, I just wish it could have been mixed a little bit better. As I said, sometimes the bass is really buried, and sometimes it just sounds really chaotic, but other than that, it's not bad, and if you like uh, death metal, definitely check these guys out. They actually have one other CD out that they released in 08, and they haven't released anything since, so I'm not sure what's going on with them, but yeah, like I said, three and a half out of five, you know, if you like your death metal brutal, definitely check these guys out. Catch you guys later.